I'm Phil Bowden. I'm the agronomist with um, Pulse Agronomy Australia, uh, X Pulse Australia and X DPI. Uh, I specialise in pest management. Farmers should be um, monitoring um, at the moment, particularly for aphids. The usual suspects of um, green peach aphid and cabbage aphid uh, we, we often see at this time of year. And the one of most concern is green peach aphid because it's uh, high chemical resistance and also the fact that it will transfer virus very quickly into, into plants. Um, in general though, you know, a lot of these aphids are pretty well controlled by a lot of the natural enemies. You know, you should be seeing uh, evidence of parasitism, you know, from the parasitic wasps. Uh, you might see lady beetle larvae, hoverfly larvae and lacewing larvae that are, uh, are um, very capable of keeping uh, those uh, aphid pests in check. Uh, if you're not seeing it though, um, well, I guess you have to make a decision whether you need to spray. Uh, the current recommendation uh, would be for one of the soft chemicals, um, uh, Pyramor, Transform, um, are the two that are, are currently um, used with, with good effect. They don't affect um, uh, the beneficial insects. The, the, with the latest canola varieties that are often very vigorous, You'll, those varieties can often outgrow damage. But um, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, monitoring regularly uh, to see what's in the crop. I mean, that, that's, I guess, the basic principle of integrated pest management is out there monitoring regularly, uh, systematically, so that you, you, know what's, you know what you're dealing with in the crop. Grazing can have an effect on uh, keeping pests in check, but it's usually uh, when the grazing pressure is very high. You know, so you'll still have uh, residual pest numbers after grazing. So that's when it's important like, to, to just go and uh, monitor regularly uh, to um, see what you're dealing with in, in the field after grazing and then, you know, after grazing, farmers are often top dressing, so that's getting the crop off um, to a uh, higher growth uh, rate um, as well that can help. And you know, with a lot of the current varieties that are very vigorous, they will outgrow any damage. So that very rarely that at this time of year that we need to intervene with a chemical. Getting back to our basic principles of integrated pest management. It's out there checking regularly, monitoring that you, uh, so you know what you're dealing with. Then you can make decisions about whether there are uh, natural enemies there that are keeping it under control or whether you have to use a, um, a chemical um, and or, or other uh, management um, tool. There are lots of resources available. Uh, the most um, high profile one is probably Pestfax, which is a, uh, a service that's offered by uh, Caesar Group from Melbourne University. And that relies on uh, farmers and agronomists uh, sending them information whenever they see, uh, you know, anomalies in crops or they, they, they want identification done. Uh, they have a very good service and that's usually, you know, taking a photo of any uh, unusual occurrence they might see in a crop, whether it's distorted leaves or, you know, signs or symptoms of uh, pests and they need it identified. It can be done through pest facts or through local land services uh, with um, their um, local uh, agronomists and they will send it on to, uh, well, Caesar or myself or someone to get it, get it identified. So there are resources there. Uh, there's quite a bit of um, uh, written material there. Uh, Grow notes, for example, 
which is a GRDC uh, resource on, on, on the website. Um, and Pulse Australia websites is still active. Uh, they, can, they can be used to uh, help with um, pest identification.